Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video uh, fishing-wise. The last video was uh, my top 10, no, 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 top 10, but my complete rod and reel arsenal. So what we're going to do today is, guys, we're going to head out. It's currently about 2.30. Just got to work at 2 o'clock. Uh, got home, got some rods and stuff together, and we're going to get out on the water and try to see if we can catch some some bass on some of these just catch them custom baits worms from none other than just catch them base uh teammate of mine Bcon pro staff he makes these uh custom ribbon tail worms crawls and stick baits and soon i believe he's even coming out with some straight tail worms so guys what i want to do is head out to one of my local ponds the lakes around here and uh, see if we can't get on some fish with these ribbon tail worms, guys. It's been a while since I've actually uploaded a fishing video, so I want to get back into it full throttle for you guys and upload some some good content. And catching fish or not, I just want to go with some tips and techniques for these spring bass right now. Going to be Texas rigging. Might throw a couple of top water, top water here and there. And also want to introduce you guys to my new Shimano SLX DC. Maybe not too new to a lot of people, but for me it's new. Just got it. Uh, tested out the other day, cast awesome, and it sounds amazing as well. So, guys, without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. All right, guys, man, right here's Hugo Park, Bomb Park, Cary, North Carolina. Uh, this place has been around for quite some time, it's not a secret of the amount of giants they have in here, but we're gonna fish it in. Try to fish it as hard as we can. We got a lot of wind going on right now. But uh it's actually blowing in the right direction for me. It's blowing away to my left. Which is it's totally fun, but I just wanna see what we can catch. This is more of a shallow water, I'd say. It may or may not be over here, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna start with a moving bait. Starters. Definitely not conditions for top water not with this much wind but either way we're gonna start with the uh chatter bait we're gonna try the shimano well not try but we're gonna fish the shimano slx dc it's definitely a hard bottom surface sandy kind of Got my boots on. Definitely step out in the water a little bit. Either way, guys, we're gonna give it our best tent, best try, and see what we can land out here. We're going all the way down, up and down this thing. Deep man's original cataract with a raised, chalk, raised tail minute scrub here. Pound floral, and that's 15 pound sunlight ST assassin, guys. Seven foot three medium heavy, and that's what we're gonna start with. See what we can catch. Let me make sure my drag is set up. It is. Ooh. Fish or not. There we go, the wind slow down. Good sign. Alright, guys,
move it away over here around. <sighs> That's a long wall, but to the other side. I'm gonna fish up and down this for a while. And see what we can catch. I think I'm gonna go to Texas Red right here. Catch some custom baits. June bug. Vector hooks here. Uh, five out. Well, I got worm hook and a five sixteenths out. Little weight. <clears throat> we'll touch them. I'm just gonna drag this thing on the bottom. Good fish. Oh my god. Oh. Well, that's a bit depressing, but I can catch them all, I guess. Fish, and he definitely stopped it in his tracks. Thank you. Thanks. First one, there he goes. Not a giant, but definitely a decent fish. Oh, 
the old Chatterbait. There you go. Decent enough first for some day. Not a, not a two pounder. First catch, but <laughs> we all know I lost that other one. Only bus I've had is on moving baits, which is the chatterbait. The drag wasn't really set the way I, I believe that's why I lost that fish earlier. It wasn't set. Check it now. Still kind of loose for some reason. down here a lot of people are afraid to come down this little spot but not uh because i know the potential this spot let's hope we can get a drive Good fish, good fish, good fish. Let's catch some custom baits, guys. Oh, yeah. I said it's about a three pounder. God. That hook is amazing, I'm telling you. Wait on this guy. Zeros. Here's zeros again. Three thirty seven locked. Good fish. Get a couple of cooks with this guy. I'll let him go. 337, solid fish. Solid fish, post spawn all day. There you go. Alright guys, that concludes today's video. Uh, didn't catch a bunch of fish, caught a couple, lost an absolute tank. Uh, in my opinion, it probably was my PB. It was definitely a giant. My drag on my new reel, the SLX DC Shimano, my drag was not set correctly. And I noticed that after the first fish, when I was reeling in that little one and a half, two pounder, 
My drag was, it was loose. It was like it was, I don't know, it was slipping. But either way, you win some, you lose some. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Texas rig, bass fishing, chatterbait bass fishing. Um, let the fish tell you what they want. Figure out where they are. Uh, kind of just remember your first initial bite and your second bite. And that kind of clue you in on what areas to kind of target. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.